If Allah has tested you, you are able to count the number of tests in your life. Ha, subhanallah. Isn't that amazing? Ask yourself, what challenges do I have? What negativity do I, do I have? What problems or issues do I face? I swear you would be able to count them on your fingertips. You can say, I've got this problem, this problem, this health matter, this issue at home, this issue at work, this, 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 nine things, I'm done. But what about the billions of things that are a favor of Allah that you cannot count? Man is so weak that he becomes despondent due to nine things that he's challenged in or tested in and he loses track of the millions or the countless things that Allah's blessed him with. That's man. You concentrate on the one negative. It shows your body is fine. Nothing wrong with it. But the mosquitoes bitten you in one place. That itself is the source of depression. Why? That bite is on my nose. The whole world sees it. And I, I need to scratch it every little while. It's so embarrassing. Relax. You're not the first person bitten on your nose, by the way. Mashallah. Looks quite sexy. Being bitten on your nose. Mashallah. I hope I'm not bitten tonight. My brothers, my sisters, re reality, one thing went wrong in my life, two things went wrong, and I'm far from the Almighty. The Almighty says, no man, I actually would like you to get closer to me. That's why there are challenges that you will face, but those challenges are limited. And secondly, he tells us, I will never burden anyone with more than they could actually shoulder. I'll never place on your shoulders more than you can cope and manage so you can. He wants to push you. He wants to, he wants to ensure that you do your best. You do better than you did the last time. Take a look at the schools that we've all been to. And many of us probably at school right now, don't they push you with a more difficult exam every time you pass one. You get a certificate and you go to a more difficult stage. You get a certificate, a more difficult stage. So the Almighty tells us when He loves us, He will test us in order for us to gain closeness to Him even more. And when does this end? It doesn't end in this world. This world, the nature of it is that you will be tested right to the end. So much so, the last portion of your life is looked at as the most difficult portion, especially when you're old and people say now you're old and you're this and you're thinking of death and death is supposed to be according to human standards, one of the most, one of the saddest occasions ever for a person, but a believer knows that's probably the best day ever. I can't wait to see my Lord who is merciful, kind, forgiving, compassionate, loving. Oh, I can't wait to see him, to meet him. I'm convinced in my heart that the day I meet the one who made me, he is not going to let me down. Whoa, he's not going. How could he let me down? Ah, shaitan will come to you and make you think for a moment. You know what? Look at the sins you did. Look at what you did. My brother, my sister, that's your past. P-A-S-T. That's what it is. It stays there. It will not come with you further. If you seek the forgiveness of the Almighty, it's wiped out. The one who sought forgiveness from a sin is equivalent to the one who didn't sin. Because Islam is based on forgiveness and the mercy of the Almighty. When the Quran starts, or when you want to begin recitation, what do you say? You seek the protection in Allah from shaitan, the devil, the accursed. And then you say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious, the most beneficent, the most forgiving is included in that because it's part of the mercy of the Almighty. Doesn't that show you that the Almighty is most merciful? So we keep going, my brothers, my sisters. We're living in a world where materialism definitely has taken center stage, without a doubt. Everyone is dazzled at times by the lights, the bling bling, mashallah, the latest of everything. We all follow the latest of something, even if it's just mobile phones, but it's still the latest of something. And we all look forward to it. In the interim, the Almighty says, it's not wrong to have from this worldly life what might be to your liking or comfort on condition that you don't lose track of the basics. 
and where you're ultimately heading. If I've worked hard to earn a life so that I can have a house, I need to set aside a little bit so that my house in the hereafter is also set and organized. MashaAllah. Right or wrong? People will get a loan and they will start paying for a house and they know it's going to take 20 years. End of it, perhaps I might not live there for too long, but my kids will have a house. Right? What about the eternal home? Did you do a little bit? It's not a monetary payment. It's a payment in your worship and your kindness. Because your character and conduct would actually help you build your hereafter.